Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Manufactio Nuclear Edition. Last episode, I do believe we were working on trying to make us a couple of more little interesting crystals, namely these end essence crystals. And well, there's a couple of other things that I've kind of done in between episodes. Nothing really massively major. We have built a new structure down, whoop, wrong side. Built a new structure over there over our chemical plant area where we're going to start building a couple of more machines today, or at least in today's episode. And I also went ahead and extended the processing area right here and there are now two more of these coke ovens up there on top of that floor because we were chewing through quite a bit of cold coke i am going to need to probably increase my sand and gravel production because we're kind of not able to keep up with certain little processes it is not a massive issue at this point i do believe i have plenty of the silicon issue things silicon deals we're still got a full dropper looks like over there plus plenty of other things laying around so i'm not terribly concerned about it right now but it's another one of those we're gonna have to kind of look at it so again last episode we did a bit of work we've got our chorus farms going and they're just you know being chorusy flower plants things are all kinds of crazy uh we're slowly making them they're doing what we need to do and again i'm not trying to be too terribly fast and crazy about getting all of these end essence crystals going uh i do need to reinstall or put in the new script that Galway sent me the other day so that i can fix my little problem because it did happen again uh loading this up uh this whatever reason again this this machine right here decided it was going to make the wrong things and it's still making the wrong things mainly because of the fact that i think we're just short on material and i probably need to just go ahead and stick this in here because it's doing this yeah it's it's a thing i need to go fix because of the fact that it needs so much nitrogen to get to a point that if this interface is not full um it's not working and i probably should actually set up a little bit of redstone control on that that would probably stop that problem wouldn't it if i made sure that this interface here this this was at least that full all the time i don't even know if a comparator would read off of that thing uh just for giggles let's take a look um i think i have some some where i don't remember where maybe it's in here i think i had a comparator laying around in one of these let me dig around and then i'll see what we can see here i mean i do have a probe connector will that read off of that and then uh i guess we can do something goofy kind of like this if i put a redstone torch on this it'll be on and if i do this here real real quick we're going to do a little bit of experimentation i've got the stutters today and i do not know why we have the stutters something is going on again as with always <laughs> with minecraft and the way things work let's see here where is my other did i put it away there it is so we need to turn that to do something out and you can be output orange so it does read interesting huh so that puts off at least enough of a measurable thing cool i might just set something up simple for that just so that these things will only run on this one the, to make sure that it only runs when it has at least you know like I don't know how much we'd have to put some more put some more stuff in but the goal for today actually is going to be we're going to try to get rid of that problem at least all the way around because I want to I don't need any more of that stuff we're going to start creating a lot more nitrogen we have been just kind of slowly bleeding it off of the system from over in these uh, chemical plants and in the uh, these distillation towers over here and again, this one is the one that's supposed to be doing it, and it's currently missing its fluid input because it's likely uh, backstuffed somewhere else. This is supposed to be raw gas, and I think raw gas likely is backstuffed because we're backstuffed right here. Yeah, that's why it's back stuff. We're back stuff because we're not making enough plastic or we're not making enough whatever it is. And of course, everything stops working at that point. Even these are input item, input item. Just back and forth and back and forth trying to figure out what this stuff needs to be. Did I upgrade those to tier two, tier threes? I did not. Not enough tank. Well, that's the problem is we still don't have enough room because I think we should be 
Yeah, back stuffed on hot crude, which is fine. That's okay. We're doing good. It's working because it's working the way it's intended to be working. The problem is I need a lot more nitrogen to finish something else off. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and build a bunch of air filters, which I've already constructed and put together, at least as far as these are concerned. And then we're going to set up a bunch of, I don't know why I did that. You go in here in my extra junk box that continues to just kind of show up with some things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a bunch of air filters, get them set up to make nitrogen. That is going to require us to start producing coolant, which we are not currently doing, so we're going to do that over here as well. That shouldn't take too much to do. I don't believe we just need to go over here and go up here, I should say. Go up to, where is it, chemical, second floor. All right, and we have a nice big wide open area. I did not get it finished because I was kind of raining out of co concrete kind of things, but that's fine. We can go ahead and just do a little bit of this. Now, the first set of chemical plants, chemical plants are going to live probably, or at least the chemical plant that's going to create the coolant is going to live likely right over here with a bunch of air filters headed that direction. And I think I should still have several chemical plants available as well as the, where is this, blueprints? Blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. You should be in here, correct? Yes, all right. Uh, you do this and then you can go down here and I need this and rotate it so it faces us. Now, this is just gonna be more room for more chemical plants, basically, is the only interest I'm doing here. And the reason why we're gonna do this up here is because the piping that we need or the storage that we're going to be storing all of the nitrogen in, I think is in that one right there. So all we're gonna have to do is just plug this in, pump it in down there and you know, away we go. All we're gonna need for coolant supposedly is the coolant recipe, a little bit of power and some water, which I need to figure out where I'm going to grab the water from. Let's see, I need a filter pipe. Where is my filter? I need one of those right there. And I guess we can just kind of plug it in maybe right there well i mean the thing is right here can we oh you're right there awesome okay uh then i'm just gonna do this i'm not gonna do that that's right in the middle of the road let's do this yeah i like that idea okay so up is going to be up 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 water i believe for coolant no i don't want that uh coolant is just water it's 80 millibuckets of water turns into 100 millibuckets of coolant and i'm only going to do one of these because of the way the recipe works we should be reasonably easy this is like a fairly simple easy recipe to go hopefully to try to get a little bit more you know stuff for us um i don't want to jump down there can i get this right there great i i want that key right here you go right there i don't know how you did that oh i said west and i put it in the wrong place hang on water uh water 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 up top top that one okay and then we can put that back all right and that looks reasonably well you're missing fluid input you shouldn't be missing fluid input water i put water in the machine this is water We put this in here, correct? Yes. What else do we need? Heavy oil. Oh, okay. Well, I can do that as well, I believe. Um, I just maybe just kind of work the pipe underneath this thing, kind of like this, maybe, possibly. You're sitting right there. Whoops, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. 
And then we need to do, I need one more of those things. Give me another thing. I need another fluid router. And it can go right there and then heavy oil. That'd be good because I think we have lots of heavy oil. Heavy oil goes top. That'll help use up some of that as well. And I want to put it right there. Yes, that'll help use up some of this excess stuff that's sitting over there. All right, nice. So then I can do this, 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 and then you should go to work making coolant. Now, we're not going to store coolant. This is the only place I'm going to use it, basically, right here, uh, right in this line. So we should just need to kind of not do a whole heck of a lot more than just move that to a bunch of these guys. So let's make a box of stuff for these. And boink, boink and just put it in there i mean i know i don't need to do that i can just do some other stuff but let's see oh broken textures lovely uh air filter click where is your input going to be well let's um i guess we'll just kind of tube apart and Do that. Interesting. So fluid input hatch goes on the back. That's gonna be simple, easy. Where's the output? Oh, well, that's fine too. That's perfect. That'll actually just, where's all our pipe? This shouldn't be too long at all. Do some things. Uh, we need to do that, 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 that. And this over there, I'm going to hope this should be, I mean, I'm, again, we're, we're probably still going to be well under. The point is what I want to do is I want the, um, we have multiple ways of getting this stuff. So we're able to shut things off as we need to shut things off. Like I've already got some redstone. Can you get that out of your inventory before you accidentally screw it up? I've already got some redstone control that is running over to that area to turn off that little um, nitrogen well thing over there that I probably should just move in the base so that I can get that chunk back. But, um, and then what we can do is we can then run that redstone up here and then across over to all of these machines and then shut them off. Should we need to shut them off right now? I'm not worried about it, but yeah, we're going to definitely want to run a little bit of redstone control to these guys. Uh, so all that should need then is a, one of these, right? And some coolant and some power and we should have some stuff, I think. So if I do this and then run a pipe around the back, which I think I have a no pipe. I don't have enough, do I? Oh, we need one of those things. Where's one of the valves? We need a, a fluid valve. I am definitely out of pipe. I will have to go get some, but we can definitely hook this guy up. Now we have problem. Crap. I kind of wanted that a little bit further over, but maybe what the best option is now is to pick this back up and move it over one. Great. Or I guess I could put it underneath. Can I just, and then will you let me rotate that the right direction? No, you're not going to let me rotate it the right direction. Oh, I need to fight with this a minute. Give me a second. How about we just, uh, well, we'll just move the power underneath that block and do it the easy way so that I can just do that. Sometimes it's just thinking differently. You look at something and you go, yeah, that's probably going to be a little bit easier if you do it that way. But anyhow, we have a little bit of pipe now. Let us run these around and that should start this one to run. Now, these things, it, it, the, the interesting part, I guess, about these is that they don't necessarily use the coolant every single time. So as soon as it fills this one up, which it's going to take its sweet little time to do, 
it w w once we get the whoa nope don't do that once we get enough coolant into all of those machines they have a let's see air filter air filter 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 this thing right here it has a five percent chance to consume a hundred millibuckets of coolant in order to make 78 millibuckets of nitrogen in this case which is perfectly fine with me because of the fact that that's not going to necessarily use an awful lot of stuff all the time um and yeah that'll work great we can actually kind of clean up some of the mess that's laying over here i'm gonna have to go get some lights but yeah once those are getting up and ready to go so this one is now producing a little bit of stuff this one is now producing a little bit of stuff and they're all now producing stuff which is good so we should have enough things in here so it's just going to fill that up and occasionally use a little bit which is fine man i come on stutter quit being so mean to me today uh all right now i want to pull crap i have to use all the valves in the world to get those things off don't i do i have enough valves I have 11. I had forgotten completely that I need to go up there and put valves on those. Um, crap. Can I get up here and do this, please? All right, nice. That means all that piping that I laid down, everybody's probably yelling at me going, hey, what are you doing, dummy? You need to do this. Uh, you go down. Where is this? Click, click. You wanted to work today. Beautiful. Do this. And then we put the pipe on it somewhere. Okay. Um, right. I guess... We got to get over there. Uh, where do I want to put it? Because uh, it's, it's, whoop, 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 whoop. It's this tank right here, I believe. Yes, it's that tank right there. Can I get back up on this thing, please? Everything's just short. It's always just barely short enough that I can't jump between the two of them. Let's see, if we go to this one and I just dump it right straight in the top of you, this will allow us to run the redstone over as well. One more? Yeah? This is where this mod is annoying because I can't um, put things down. Why do I have machine casings? Did I have too much machine casings? Interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe that recipe is messed up for those guys. Huh, I don't know. Uh, all right. We need to get some pipe over there, and then we can go on doing what we're doing. Let me get this sorted. Okay. I can do this. Okay. And then you can go down there and do that. So I went ahead and restarted my game and installed the script that I was given. And hopefully, I don't know if it's going to change much of anything, but we're going to see what this is going to do now. I don't want the crystal seeds. Yeah, you're still not working. You're still not working. Uh, the script should have gotten installed. Let's see. Crystal. This. Still 100 millibuckets of nitrogen. You're still 50. You should be working. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Give me no. And this. Yes. Okay. And then you can come out of there. You do this. I see. Very, very good. Very, very good. Um, you're still, all right, nice. Turn this back on. You should now do what you're supposed to do, correct? After you finish one cycle, are you going to work? All right, cool. We're now making the correct crystals. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go put these down here in the box. Everything should be functional, at least at that point. So this can go here and here. Those will just get hauled off and dumped somewhere else. And that should do the work for us for now. We should now be making these pretty consistently, given the fact that we do have a decent amount of, uh, well, chorus fruit down here, I think. I should have a reasonable amount. Yeah, we've got over a thousand now. That's good. And that should also mean this is going to run pretty much constantly, and I should not have any more problems with this issue here. I may, 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 may build another one of these 
down here to start producing the the that that crystal those those things just so that we can kind of catch back up because uh, again there's a whole bunch of stuff up on top of here up there and up there that both require that crystal so it's like right over there and and there's a bunch of more stuff up here so i guess moving forward with what we have left to do i think the only thing as far as modules is concerned um, that we're going to need to be worried about is going to be making the crystals that actually do the work which is going to be a lead crystal for a resilient crystal for these let me get out of here away from this loud power generation system and the energetic crystals we're going to have to look at making neptonium which i don't honestly want to start playing with anytime soon because that is going to require us to do a bunch of other stuff, and the silver crystal, which is why I was a little bit interested in that. Let's go back up on top of the, up here, and see how we're doing as far as those now. Copper, lead, third floor. Should be over here, up top. Let's see what we find. It should be right here. Are you producing again? Good. Nice. Um... What was I doing with you? You're the one that's making the lead crystal, and this is the one that is producing silver crystals. I probably... I might have to set this one up again, just so that it's not doing what it's doing, because I think, actually, we have plenty, 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 plenty of the silver happening down here now, right? Yeah, we've got forty-two thousand plus. I have the stuff that's coming in from the other, uh, from those, uh, those, those, those mining, droning thing, drone, drone hub things. Yeah, those. Uh, we have plenty of that coming in, so I might just, I might just shut that off and bring another one of these down here to start saving up the energetic stuff for these. Yeah, I think that's the only thing we have left. Is that? And again, I don't know how many of the actual speed modules I plan on making, so that might not be even... What else do we need these for? That. Right. Right. So we're still going to need to get that down here somewhere. Okay. Uh, well, I think that'll do that for now. I think we're going to kind of... We're, we're kind of working ourselves into a corner again, I think. Kind of feels like we're working ourselves into a corner a little bit. Um, I don't know what else we can do right now. I was going to unlock these, but they're not kind of important. Maybe what I should go do is do that thing. How about we unlock that and we can play with that in the next episode? I know it's going to be a kind of a short one because I really only had plans to do that. But let's see. Uh, this. Laser drill. Submit. I can just craft it without having to have any kind of a plan. Is that what you're telling me? Where did that go? Up here. I need to go turn this back on. I think is this one right there. You can go back to work. All right. I think we'll quit right there. We got our air filters running. We got more nitrogen, which is good. Um, I will in between episodes uh, set up the basically all I got to do is just run a bunch of connectors off of that line onto the front of those and then they'll be able to turn on and off once this thing gets full so I think for right now I'm happy with that we've got a decent amount already coming in and that should help with our processes elsewhere as far as trying to keep some of this other stuff running we should be able to start actually fooling around with some more crystallization things and some more other fun stuff that is in this next time but I think for now I'm going to call it thank you guys so much for watching I'll see ya bye